Hello friends, welcome to our channel, myself Chetan Jado. So in previous lecture we have seen that what is the automation, its types and advantages and disadvantages. So today we will start from the next point that is our group technology. So it is a manufacturing philosophy in which similar parts are identified and grouped together to take advantages of their similarities in manufacturing and design similar parts are arranged into the part families for example a plant producing 10,000 different part numbers may be able to group the vast majority of these parts into 50 or 60 families each family would possess a similar design and manufacturing characteristics hence each member of the given family would be similar and this results in manufacturing efficiency. This efficiency are achieved in the form of the reduced setup time, in process inventoring better scheduling, improved tool control and the use of the standardized process plan. So, basically uh, in group technology we are going to form a group by using their geometrical shape size and manufacturing process if we can take the example of the 10 parts in that 10 parts five parts which is having same geometrical size and shape and remaining five for the rem same manufacturing process so we are going to making two group group number one in that format of the symmetrical geometric shape and size and second with the same manufacturing process like that we have to make the different different group for our further process for the manufacturing process so it will be easy for the, our manufacturing purpose also so in uh, similarities among the parts permits them to the classify into again part families from that group technology first of all we are going to create some group according to the geometrical size shape and manufacturing process again we have to divide that group group to again its part family in that each part family having the processing steps are similar a part family can be defined as a group of the part or component having the same or identical attributes part may not be exactly same but are very close part may not look like same but their manufacturing process can be same like this way we have to define that group into the part families the involvement is a typically achieved by organizing the production facilities into manufacturing cells that specialize in production of the certain families so first of all we have to create a group according to geometrical size shape and manufacturing process that is our first task afterwards in that group suppose we can take the group two one group and second group in that first group again we have to create the some part families as per the same procedure or as per the same attributes or same component design again group number second also we have to divide into some part families likewise we have to making the first group and afterwards we have to make the part families and that will be better for the manufacturing process so we will see next part that is our part family a part family can be defined as a group of the components having the same attributes like shape size and manufacturing process Part may not be exactly same but very close. Part may not be look like same but it manufacturing process can be same. A group of the parts the possesses similarity in group shape size process in their manufacture. A part family are central feature of the group technology. It is a center feature of the group technology. There are always difference amongst parts in the family. But the similarities are close enough to the part can be grouped into same family. 10 parts are a different size and shape but quite similar in terms of the manufacturing as shown in below figure. All parts are machined from the cylindrical stock turning. Some are required drilling and milling. So we will see that example 10 parts. So 
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज अ ग्रुप टेक्नोलॉजी मेथड्स सो हाउ वी वील डिफाइन दैट ग्रुप विल सेपरेट फ्रॉम दिस सेकेंड ग्रुप सो देर आर फोर मेथड टू आइडेंटिफाई द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ग्रुप सो फर्स्ट वन विजुअल इंस्पेक्शन सो यूजिंग दिस टेक्निक्स बेस्ट जजमेंट टू द ग्रुप पार्ट्स इन टू अप्रोप्रिएट फैमिलीज बेस्ड ऑन दिस पार्ट सो बाइजली और यूजिंग दिस अवर नेकड आइज सो यू कैन जस्ट विजुअलाइज दैट पार्ट्स एंड यू कैन जस्ट सेपरेट दैट सिमिलर पार्ट्स इन टू द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स एज पर द जियोमेट्रिकल साइज शेप एंड सो वी हैव टू जस्ट आइडेंटिफाई बाय यूजिंग यूर आईज एंड यू कैन क्रिएट द सेपरेट ग्रुप्स सेकेंड इज द कंपोजिट पार्ट कंसेप्ट इट इज एक्चुअली बेस्ड ऑन द फीचर्स ऑफ ऑल द कंपोनेंट्स फॉर्मिंग अ ग्रुप बाई यूजिंग द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट शेप साइजेस वॉट एवर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोसेस यूजिंग फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्ट फ्रॉम दैट फीचर्स वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पार्ट एंड वी हैव टू क्रिएट द सेपरेट ग्रुप This is the second type of the group technology methods. Next is the production flow analysis. In this third methods, we are going to form a third group by using this information, our uh, operation numbers, our operation sheets. From that, we are going to classify our group the third type of the group technology. So. we how to identify the what processes what operations are going to perform on that part by using this machining operations we are creating the separate group so next one is that is the fourth one is the parts classification and codification so after this group group formation so again we have to go for the next type that is a codification and classification so we have to give some classification number code to that similar parts so we can easily understand the that part is going for this group we can give a number code for that particular part so we can easily identify that part should be contained in that this group so this is actually four method to create the group so this is a group technology method we will see in next part where we are we are going to actually form or create the group that time we are going to using this methods so we will see in next type you can see this is the image of the group technology now in that we can see there are some rod is there bolt is there nut is there washer is there so we can create the easily different different group by using this first method that is a visual inspection by using this visual inspection you can create this separate group from this uh, large rod is there that one is a separate group short bolt is there so that one is a separate group for nut also that one is a separate group for washer likewise by using this first visual inspection you can create the different different groups second composite part from this design of this part we can again create the separate group that production flow also analysis and last one is classification codification we will see in next slide so basically advantages of the what is the advantages of the group technology so first advantages is reduction in number of the drawing and documents because of this group technology we have to achieve one first advantages that is a we have to reduction in number of the drawings and documents reduction in setup of this production time whatever that separating the parts setting the uh, that time that will be uh, require more times so that also we have will get that also benefit improved machine loading reduction in work in process time inventory reduction in manufacturing lead time because of separating this separate spread group will get more production time we are reducing the lead time we are reducing the manufacturing lead time we will get better output quality of this product process planning and production scheduling are simplified 
Standardization of tooling fixture setups is encouraged. Muttering handling is reduced because of this segregating of the similar type of the part or manufacturing that will be lead to the reducing the material handling also. Parts are moved within the machine cells rather than enter factory. Because of this segregating of the same similarity size of the product or part that will be give more benefit as that material handling that material will be moved in whole factory rather than this we are moving in only that required manufacturing sales process planning production scheduling are simplified work in process and manufacturing lead time are reduced improved worker satisfaction in group technology sale higher quality work will be get so that is the benefits of the this group technology by using this group technology we will get this type of the benefits so next part is disadvantages of the group technology so what are the disadvantages we will see first is a high cost of the implementation implementation of this group technology it will be tends higher cost because we are using different different automation systems so it will be leads for the higher cost at initial level large number of the codes for variety of the components for uh, segregating or making the various group at that time we have to use large number of the codes for variety of the components so that will be difficult for the reading and segregating it is not suitable for the large variety of the products so basically group technology is a not suitable for the large variety of the products it is a simply suitable for the mass production identification of the part family is a critical task because we are we are going to create some first group in that we are going to create part families so that will be some this is not only uh, one part so in that company or industry there are n number of the parts n number of the group so in that we are given just coding and number so that will be actually critical task to identify the in uh, your desired part identifying the part families that biggest problem then the plant mix 10000 different parts reviewing all the parts drawings grouping the parts into part families that is also difficult part so rearranging the production machines in the plant into the appropriate machine cells that is also difficult part so basically it will take the more times and that leads to the less production and it take, takes time to plan and accomplish this arrangement and the machines are not producing during this change over so that will be your loss and downtime is more so these are the disadvantages of the group technology so up till now we have seen the types that is a group technology what is the meaning of the group technology why we are making the group technology we are making the different different groups as per the geometrical shape size and manufacturing processes and then we have to again going for the part families by using the similar process steps again we have seen that part family in that we have seen that group technology methods how to form the groups by using visual inspection composite part production flow analysis and codification classification we have seen that example of this group technology then um, advantages of the group technology and disadvantages of the group technology so for today's lecture it is enough so in next lecture we will see the remaining part so thank you thank you so much hopefully you might have enjoyed the lecture then please do like the video and know your thoughts in comments Please do share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. After subscription, you can press the bell icon to never miss the notification regarding our new videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.